Main event time. Let's Main event time. Let's bring on the man that has now got Malik Scott in his uh -huh. corner. Face Temper, get up here, brother. Let's go, Temper. Let's go, Temp. And let's welcome in the main man. All in white as well today. Woo! Dapper out. KSI, get to the stage, brother. Wait, wait, you guys have planned this. You guys have planned this. One in black, one like in white. Little, this, you know? is, this is, yeah. you guys have planned this. Is this is all planned, bro. This is all planned. Wow. Yeah, right, shit. Black and white, baby. That's how it goes. What, what, what's this, yeah. an indication of, like, the good, the bad? Yeah, I like, <laughs> what, yeah, I like what is it. This? What is this? Look, obviously, look, no Dylan Dennis, no problem. Mm. Upstep, some will say a better boxer. Yes. Right, a better boxer oh, in face temper, a lot taller as well, a lot ranger. Yeah, what are yeah, you expecting? Yeah, bro, six foot four, man. Like, I think you're taller than Logan. Yeah, the boost got me looking Damn, a little taller, bro. bro. Yeah. The boost got me a little taller. Damn, but I'm still gonna get inside and, you know, hit that body, bro. Oh, <laughs> Work you down. That's, you, you're gonna that's have a hard time getting inside, bro. Oh, no, I definitely won't. <laughs> is, is there no extra? Cautions, I think the right word. Obviously, he is now with Malik Scott. Malik Scott just over there as well watching. Is it like, okay, one second, he's got up a level now. He's got Malik oh, Scott. Oh, yeah, no, it's great to see Malik Scott, you know, obviously helping you train. But it doesn't matter. Like, your power is going to do nothing to me. All right. Legit, even the people I've been sparring, I've been sparring with people heavier than me, and they've hit me with bombs, and I have yet to be dropped. So, yeah. It's... Shit, all right, we're going to see then. <laughs> we will, bro. Face, do you think he's underestimating you? I've seen you guys. I saw the face off uh, that Misfit star. I thought maybe he was underestimating you, thinking this is going to be easy work. Yeah, I definitely think he's thinking it's going to be a little bit easier than, than it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be your hardest fight, for sure. Guaranteed. My hardest fight? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. What? Absolutely. No. And That's me, at all. Me versus Slim was a blessing in disguise, because now you got to see me fall, and you think it's going to be easy work, but it's not. No. Nah. Nah, mate, you're, <laughs> you're tripping. There's no way that you're my hardest fight. The amount of people I've been sparring in training and camp, it's been way harder. Like, even fighting Logan, that was harder. Like, no, I'm talking about a fight. I'm not talking about sparring. Oh, OK, fighting Logan is better than you. Uh, we're going to see, bro. That's crazy. Well, <laughs> we're going wait, wait, wait. to see you on uh, Saturday. But to be fair, on the X series, he's better than Swarms. Yeah, he's better than Swarm. Is, sure. is he not he's better, better, yeah, he's he's not better than, than Pineda? Pineda. For he's better sure. than a lot of people yeah. in Misfits. Yes, of course. But I'm just on a different level. My level is so, far supreme. Like, I feel I can destroy Jake Paul. I feel like I can destroy Ty Woodley. I feel like I can destroy Slim. I feel like I can destroy all these motherfuckers. And I will. You got to get through me first. <laughs> and that's not going to happen. And I will, brother. And that's brother, not going to happen. I will. Best believe I will. It's not going to happen. You're going to be like what? And I'll show it. Have you seen my speed? Did you see my speed? That I was showing. You got heavy the, ass feet, bro. Media. Heavy you, ass feet. You sound you like a horse footwork. in the ring, bro. You're like, a bro. Fool. My footwork was insane, though. My footwork. I'll give. Uh, listen, you got better, Supreme, but. Supreme, fast. I'm. You're not gonna be able to deal with my speed, and my power, my aggression. I'm too much. As soon as I get in the ring, I turn into the nightmare, and I'm dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes, I. Are you, are you expecting a knockout? Oh, well, well, of course. Is that going to happen? That's, of course. I'm going to have to make you sleep again, brother. Uh, I don't know yeah, about yeah. that. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It, it might be your time. But, but this time, you won't be getting up as well. Nah, it's going to be sorry. your time. I'm sorry. But, you know, I do feel sorry for you. know, you obviously, you, I think only Adapt is coming through. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's crazy, right? I mean, it kind of makes sense because none of them want to see you get slept again, innit? Right, right. They don't want to... You know, hey, no, I know you got way. mad love for FaceTime, bro, because the Misfits logo. Come on, bro. It's like damn near the same thing. Yeah, it's right. damn near the same thing, bro. Misfits. Okay, you got the Misfits logo. I know you got logo. some inspiration from that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, but. Hey, that's love, though. But no, appreciate it. But look, either way, I respect you 100% for getting in the ring because Dylan Dennis couldn't even fucking do that. Dylan Dennis couldn't even do that. So. Dylan Dennis, he's not a real fighter. You're a real fighter. You're into the ring with me. But either way, you're getting slapped, bro. Last time out, phase, you got a knockout, right? A good knockout as well. Austin, Silent. Texas, over overflow. Do you think you can knock out KSI? Yeah, absolutely. Why? Bro, Where does this confidence come from, You can shut phase? the fuck up. Yeah, bro. Why, why would I get in the ring regardless? You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we ain't come here for fucking tea and crumpets. 
Continue. You know, though. Oh, you ain't even getting past Idris. You ain't getting past Idris. Idris is sleeping you. Oh, bro. Anthony Taylor on the balcony. Oh, yours. You shit. know what he does. The pretty boy always trying to take it over. You always trying to do it. All right, finally, guys, before we let you go, predictions. Mr. Black, Mr. White. I'm going to start with you, Mr. White. <laughs> Prediction. Prediction. All right, so I, to be honest, I can do this anywhere I want. You know, I'm just that confident. If I want to end it in round one, I can do it. And I'm feeling like ending it in round one. I want to come in and just show, run that pace. Drown you, brother. Show you that <laughs> I can go for three minutes nonstop. My stamina is un un unbelievable. And once I get in the ring and show you that you ain't going to be able to survive at that level, I'm going to have to knock you out in one round. Simple. One round. One round. One round and under three minutes. But you minutes. know that's coming. You know as soon oh, yeah, as the bell absolutely. goes, he's going. Yeah, for sure. So I'm how do you handle I'm that? I'm expecting that. It's going to be cool. We're going to keep it light. We're going to keep it calm. And I'm going to catch you. Oh, no, no. You don't want it to be. It's not going to be calm. Even in the clinch, I'm going to be moving crazy. Yeah. I'm expecting so, I'm that. I'm not dope, bro. I'm not dope. People fear me. People fear me. People don't like getting in the ring with me because they understand once they see me, it's different. It's very different. I don't know, man. I, don't, I disagree. You're gonna with find all that. out. Oh, we're gonna find out. We're gonna hey, find out. We're gonna find out, guys. Man. We're gonna find out. We're gonna do a face to face later. You're gonna need a ladder for this one. We're gonna do a face to face <laughs> later. But look, we've seen KSI do it before, right? Twice in one night. Mm. This is it, though. This is different. X Series One, very, very special. X Series Four, we Shut go to another up. level. You shouldn't be next. Who the fuck? Are you? The birth certificate reads Ola GD, Ola Tunji, but look, we know him as KSI, one of the biggest media draws in the world. And tonight, he's out to prove that he is the true king of crossover boxing. Now, look, to do that, KSI is facing both Swarms and Luis Alcaraz Pineda. Two fights, one night, simple. You fight, you win, you repeat. And he's actually talking, he's talking on him. He's talking, but he's not throwing punches. And KSI oh! is lighting him up. first victim and he did it without much of a sweat speaking of bombs down goes evil hero dean the great looks pretty great so far dean the great looking great and he's not done yet let it show my man don't blink on this one both these guys are so big and such heavy hitters a clean shot and it could oh, be the lights out a good what? shot the lights. It's and they're gonna wave up. it off Again, hasn't hurt. Oh, and another good right hand. Kenny goes back. And it's a war. It's a war. Oh. Ladies. Um, can we get a recount? Let's see if Deji has enough to beat the wolf. Oh, no, and oh. he set him down with a jab. And the top of his head. Deji's won. Oh, oh he's out. out. It's a knockout. Slim by knockout. He's trying to get up. How many knockdowns does it take? KSI wins two fights and one night, and now he turns his attention, perhaps, to Jake Paul. Boy, Thai experience, you know. That was exciting. Um, that was good to see Heck all the yeah. fighters. You didn't have to play security even this I, bro, time. I thought really I was going to have to. That's why I wore the bulky. I was ready. You know. I, 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 I knew you were ready. I knew you were ready. <laughs> CEO of the Zone North America joins us now. Joe Markowski is on stage with us. Let's talk about the future of Misfits and the Zone. Obviously, we just recently heard about the new five-year deal. Explain why you've gone in so big with Misfits. Well, because it's working. And we're very excited about the prospect of what we can build in the next five years. We've been in this space since 2019. Our first major crossover event was this man against his, his now business partner, Logan Paul. Their, uh, their friendship was not in the same state as it is now back then. But that whets our appetite um, for this space. We learned a lot. Uh, we've evolved it. COVID disrupted it. But we always knew we wanted to get back into this space in a really meaningful way. Um, we've been working on this deal for a few months. We've had f three events, four this weekend. And our commitment is now for the long term, for the next five years, 
and we're very excited about what we can build together with, with JJ and MAMS and uh, Wasserman Boxing. Uh, we think it's a huge opportunity to build a, a really exciting sports entertainment um, property. Yeah, I guess the reflection of that is how good the first three events have been. Again, O2 Arena back in August, incredible. You fighting twice in that night, sold out immediately. Then we went to Sheffield, then we went to Austin, Texas, and now the sold out over arena. It makes sense to go big on this, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, with me, Mam, Saul and Rubbers, we see the future being so bright for Misfits. And, you know, there's tons of influencers in the world, tons of TikTok stars, tons of YouTubers that want to get into the ring, want to sell beefs, and Misfits is the place for it. Mm. Right now, we've seen events in America. I know the plan for 2023. We've seen events in Europe as well. There are so many stars like KSI that broaden out their superstardom to further places in Europe, Asia. Are there any plans to go to those territories? Absolutely. We're a global business. We see this very much as a global adventure. But I also think we broaden this thing, not just geographically, but also in terms of the participants. What kind of celebrities, what kind of people with a public profile participate in this thing. Right now, it's rappers, it's YouTubers, it's influencers. We want this to become a much broader entertainment platform. So where does that go? We don't know yet, but is it politicians? Is it athletes? Is it basically anyone with a public profile? And I think that's the job that we've now got to do, um, as well as a fighter. JJ's Len in as a businessman to this thing. So uh, we've got to think about that the next few months and we'll start to evolve it. And the five-year runway we now have uh, gives misfits the, the confidence that we're in and we are it gives us the commitment that we've got content coming so where it goes the next five years is really up to us and that that's a really exciting part of this thing wade you're a big face in this space now everyone knows wade and associates you with crossover boxing wade indeed everyone knows wade wade you've seen the growth of this as well have you been surprised just how fast this has grown that's the word fast i, I knew we were on a trajectory that couldn't be denied even from years ago when he started squaring off with Joe Weller. There was something there. It caught my attention. It caught the world's attention. But now it's been like a rocket ship these last couple of years. And it's because of the work he's put in. It's because of the work the zone's put in. And really everyone that's been on this card, guys take it seriously. That's why this works. Not just because we have a big following or because we're influencers, but because when we get in there, people are taking it seriously. And the people that watch this are seeing that. Okay, so one thing I have seen, and I think the pressure was to take it away just from you. Right, it can't just be the KSI show. And I think we've seen sort of new stars being birthed. We mentioned Salt Pappy all the time, Slim. New stars that can main event and sell out big numbers without you. Well, I mean, that has always been one of my goals, like one of my long-term goals, because, you know, even after I fight and beat Jake Paul, you know, I want Misfits <laughs> to still be able to stand on its own legs, you know, without me. And, you know, every now and then I can, you know, do a, sh a surprise appearance or a surprise fight, but, you know, I want Misfits to, yeah, stand on its own legs and be its own entity. And, you know, I see Misfits being as big as the UFC, as, as big as the WWE. I, I really do see it being a huge platform for all, all YouTubers, influencers, whatever. I, I, I truly do see it as being huge. So, yeah, this is, right now we've just got to do the groundwork you know, keep building everyone, making sure we focus on all the fighters, build up on all the, on all the, all the things we need to do. And then, yeah, hopefully in the future, it just becomes what we truly believe it's going to be. Yeah, well said. Joe, uh, any fight in particular you can forward to on Saturday? Well, the main event's fantastic. I think this man, watching him train um, is, is inspiration, actually. I need to get back in the gym, actually. And, and you know, you, you really sort of set the pace for me personally. But I'm excited about all of it. I think top to bottom, there's energy, there's excitement. Uh, and I think, you know, traditional boxing can learn a lot from the approach we're taking from a promotion perspective as well. So um, I'm really excited about all of it. Joe, fantastic. Thank you very much, KSI. Fantastic as well. Wade, stay there with me. Oh, look, we're underway. Remember, at 7 p.m., as Anthony Taylor and Idris Virgo go head to head. Then it's just second ever female X Series belts. He's Elbrook and Faith Ordway. There's a decent looking cruiserweight title fight as well between Ryan Taylor and Swarms. Don't forget, B Dave makes his X Series debut against a mystery opponent. Whilst about five sees the return of Salt Pappy as he goes in against Josh Bruckner. Slim versus Tom Zanetti is the intriguing one for me. Co main event as well in that one. But then KSI puts his MF cruiserweight crown on the line against. The tall man, the man in black, Mr. Face Temper. What a night of boxing it's gonna be, Wade. I can't wait, man. I cannot wait. It's been three months 
We've been planning this card. And all the stuff that's happened, all the switching around, finding ways to just get this main event on a roll. And quite frankly, I think we stumbled upon the best one we could have. And on the, I think on the night and in the ring, we're going to see not only him perform, and I know he's been chomping at the bit. It's like someone's got a leash on him, and he's just trying to get off it, ready to go. I can tell. You saw it yesterday in the open workout, but there's a quiet confidence to phase temper as well. And again, when Malik Scott's in your corner, you, just, you never know how much he can improve a guy in such a short amount of time. You know what I'm saying? It. Book it now. Ade said this. Tom Zanetti versus Slim fight of the night. Yeah. Tom Zanetti versus Slim fight of the night. Look, tomorrow the weigh-ins get underway here at 1 o'clock as well. Big Zoo calling the action Woo. tomorrow at the weigh-ins. Todd Grisham will be here as well. So it's weigh-ins tomorrow. Then on Saturday, all gets underway. 7 o'clock, just a stone's throw away from here. Over Arena Wembley, live on the zone pay-per-view. This man headlines once again. Woo, 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 indeed. Face against Face Temper. Should be a good one. We'll see you then.